<laughs> hello, hello. This video will be slightly different from my others, as it will contain my thoughts as a veteran player of Puzzle Pirates who has just returned for the last two weeks or so. I last played the game properly many, many years ago, before lots of the current puzzles came out, and I didn't know what to expect coming in or if the game was even active. So in these two weeks that I've played, I have formed some initial impressions of the game, but is a disclaimer, these are only my first impressions, let me know if you agree or have had any different experiences in the comments. I had three main points I wanted to know before I actually started Puzzle Pirates again. The first point is, is this game alive and are there any players still playing in 2021? Secondly, how active is the game? Are you going to be able to log on and hop straight on to puzzling activities like a pillage, have a variety of options? Or is everyone just AFK and playing poker? Or finally, how easy is Puzzle Pirates to pick up if you're a new player or a returning player? You can check out the timestamps on this video if you want to jump ahead. So the first point is, is this game actually alive and are there any players still playing Puzzle Pirates in 2021? So off peak, I've only seen maybe about 200 players on the Emerald server. On the Meridian server, however, there's literally single digits, one to three people. And at peak times, you got 500 plus players on the Emerald server, and that's still only about seven on Meridian at peak times. Meridian is a ghost town. Meridian server is actually where my old main account got migrated to and is now stuck there with all of its stuff. And as a returning player, I honestly almost quit the first time I logged in and saw three people online. But luckily I checked out Emerald server as well and found it had actual people. So if you are a new player, I would strongly advise pick Emerald, do not go on Meridian. And if you're a returning player who used to play on Viridian or Malachite servers, which were some point migrated to this new Meridian server, I would advise you to just liquidate every single thing you can, turn it all into doubloons, which you can then start a new character on Emerald with. This is what I did just so I could play the game with actual people. And this leads me to the second point, what's happening with the game. So outside of primetime hours on Emerald, do not expect tons of pillaging, sea monster hunts, Atlantis runs, etc. From what I've seen, they often struggle to get going. They do run though, but I found it's more of a, a pain to get on one at off-peak times. So this would be the time to do some solo activities and puzzles, like distilling if you have the itch to do any sort of puzzling. Poker, however, that always seems to be busy. There's always a few tables running, even at the off-peak times. So if that is your thing, you can hop online whenever and jump straight in. Prime time, there is always pillages going on from what I've seen, as well as some sort of monster hunt or maybe an Atlantis trip. I haven't struggled to find any pillages or activities to do at all. You can log in, jump on a random ship that's advertising, and it's all good, you're off on an adventure. So actually, if you're on Emerald, the game is still pretty active and it should be enough to keep you busy. And finally, how easy is Puzzle Pirates to pick up if you are a new player or a returning player? This is actually a surprisingly important point that didn't even cross my mind when I first started up the game. I did not think it would be an issue at all. And I'll start with my impression as a veteran because I think that will lead nicely into the point that I'm trying to make if you're new to the game. It's a relatively old game and there's not too many new people joining and playing the puzzles. What does this mean? This means that most of the people playing nowadays are going to be veterans who are likely experts who have spent maybe years playing all the puzzles. This will impact the scoring of the puzzles because this average score will go up and up and up. So here's a list of the rankings of how good you are at the puzzles, Able being the worst and Ultimate being the best 1% or so in the game. So here's how my new account that I started a few weeks ago on Emerald, here's how it looks. Now I mentioned earlier that I have my old account that's stuck on Meridian. I can use this as a reference to how the game used to be scored and how it is now. So you can see some major differences there. I've been mostly playing Carpentry recently. I'm currently rated as Distinguished, which is my highest rated score on my current stats. 
true, I probably have gotten a bit worse over time and I'm getting back into the swing of things. However, has my ability gone from the top 1% or so to the third lowest ranking percentage? Apparently so. And you know what? Fair enough. That's what my skill is currently rated at compared to everyone else playing today. As an aside, I've also heard people complaining about bots. If they do exist, they'll be further inflating the scores, but I am not well informed about the situation, so I won't comment further on that particular point. So if you're a veteran returning to the game after a few years, expect to be solidly beaten on puzzles that you thought you were potentially pretty good at. Now, just imagine that you're a new player who hasn't played any of these puzzles before. You will likely struggle. You'll be competing against players who have played these puzzles for years. I haven't got an incredible once yet, and I used to slam those out waypoint after waypoint. Now, does any of this actually matter? Sure, if you care about the stats on your page looking good, but will this actually affect your ability to play and enjoy the game? No. Years ago, when I last played, people would check your stats before inviting you along on a pillage, but because there's so few people playing nowadays, almost every single pillage that I've been on, they would be happy to have you along for the trip no matter what your stats. So if you do only get poor and fine rankings, do not be discouraged because I haven't seen anyone complain and you will only get better with practice. So that's my first impressions and some key points I think you might want to know when you do check out Puzzle Pirates in 2021. Have I gotten anything wrong? Please let me know in the comments. And once again, this is only my first impressions after being back in the game for about two weeks or so. And if you like the Puzzle Pirate content, please consider liking the video and subscribing as that lets me know you want to see more of me talking rubbish about Puzzle Pirates.